Hi guys, new wheel time. I wonder what's in the box. <laughs> yes, this is the V11. I finally get my crack at, uh, at trying a suspension wheel. I've never ridden one yet. This particular one is provided by E-Wheels. Thanks again, Jason, my favorite dealer. <laughs> uh, I think it started with uh, Mickey in Florida, and then it went to Duff, and this just arrived from uh, Chooch. It's, it's Sunday, a rare delivery from FedEx. So it's been it's been heavily abused. <laughs> the box is uh, box is looking at it a little bit. This is a big box, by the way, and this this feels pretty heavy. Today, I just want to give you my raw, you can see me unboxing, I've never seen it, my raw first impressions of the plastic and, you know, just raw impressions. Then I'm going to take it for a ride and uh, give you my raw impressions as I uh, take it for a little 25 mile ride. And my intentions are to do my range tests. I'm going to take in a lot of mountain uh, trail type riding because that's where I envision using this wheel uh, because uh, my knees uh, could greatly benefit from this I think and I will conclude my testing with the run at um, overheat hill so uh, stay tuned to my channel if you want to see whether this uh, burns up whether it overheats or whether it makes it up with no issues at all <laughs> Okay, what do we have in the box? We have our standard uh, charger. So that's good. Thanks, Chooch, for remembering to pack this guy up. <laughs> uh, it's like the, the air supply. Okay, it doesn't quite look like a new wheel, as you can imagine, <laughs> but uh, let me throw it up on the table so we can get a closer look. Okay, got up on my stand, uh, Duff's wide stand, which uh, looks like the wide stand is useful for a lot more wheels nowadays than more current wheels. And by the way, this stand... Uh, Works beautiful on the on the V11. I've seen. I can't remember some of the comments about um, whether they were about this one or the S18 that it they wouldn't work work because the tire dropped down. But anyway, works good on this on this stand. Um, so of course, this has been. It's really seen some, seen this some uh, fair amount of use, but it looks in good condition. I mean, it looks like a wheel that's been used. I haven't looked at the manual. If there is a manual, I'm going to have to experiment to see if EUC World connects with this yet. What kind of, um, I don't think I have an Emotion app. I might, but I'll get the latest one. Build quality seems nice. I like the handle feels very solid. My initial impressions are very positive. I did see uh, Chucha's last published video, and uh, I think I'll disagree with him. In terms, he 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 was saying this reminded him of the Z10 uh, in terms of build quality. And my initial raw 
impressions of or the Z10 is still unmatched in terms of just out of the box feeling of just quality is solid. This uh, feels a little more plastic, plasticky, a little less, a little more flexible, hollow sounding, just slight, not, not horrible, but um, I think the Z10 is still the king of overall sense of solid build quality, like denseness and everything. I'm sure part of that has to do with the four inch wheel. I love, again, nice, beautiful uh, three inch tire. I'm looking to see, not that it matters too much for this. Yeah, I can't quite see the name of who's, it's a Chinese brand. Anyway, I love, love the three inch tires. I tell you, it's the new standard. So, uh, looks, uh, looks beautiful. Pedals are scraped up from, uh, riding. Someone left their, uh, their GoPro mount on the pedal. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to charge this up. It's not much too much to say. I just wanted to give you my raw impressions, which are definitely favorable. I like the, I tell you, the headlight looks pretty cool. It does look like a, like it's from a car. Same with the, the back light. Uh, the lights look really cool. So, uh, looking good. Next video, you will see me uh, riding this and I'll start describing how I'm, what I'm thinking of the, the feel to it. So I'm gonna pump up the tire, probably 25, and then uh, check the shocks and, and then get going. All right, see you in a second. I know, I know, I was supposed to be uh, riding this wheel. <laughs> uh, it looks like I get to work on another wheel here. So what did I do? I uh, decided I was experimenting with the app a little bit to see what I could do, and, and then I saw, oh, check the firmware. I said, yeah, why not? See what's, see what's new. And there was a new one, 162, I think. I'll throw up a screenshot right now of what I saw. And this had like 0 0.038, I think. Uh, so I thought, yeah, why not? Upgrade the firmware. I've done that on my, you know, the King Song wheels, the Z10. Clicked the update firmware button and uh, went through the whole motion. And when I went to turn the wheel back on, nothing. Can't turn the wheel on. So, I'm left with um, taking the wheel apart. And I'm going to disconnect the power from the control board, let it sit for uh, half an hour or so, plug it back in and see if that wakes it up, back up. Now I'm doing this partly because Mickey, who had this wheel first, he had a problem where it wouldn't turn on once. And uh, I think I, I'm not positive of the sequence, but I think he opened it because of that and disconnected the the board and when he reconnected it it started uh, he could turn it on so I'm hoping that's the case on this wheel now it could be an issue if that is the case it could be an issue with this is a pre-production model you know who knows it's a sample of one in this case, right? We don't know if there's issues with uh, with other uh, V11s. I guess if there are, we'll know because they're starting to appear in the wild now. So I will continue to take this apart to figure out how to do it. Oh, here it is, okay. This comes off, that's easy. 
just uh, two of these screws and two screws down here. And they all use a three millimeter Allen wrench. Uh, just make sure you use the right size and you won't have any issues stripping any heads. All right, I will see you when I have the control board open. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I have the cover exposed and you can see there's a blinking light in there. So something's happening. Which I take to be a good sign. So I'm just gonna disconnect these batteries. Okay, one down. Okay, no power, and the flashing stopped. All right, we'll give this a while. Plug it back in and see what happens. Okay, it's about 20 minutes. Watched the video, and now it's time to give this a shot. Plug it in quickly. I can see the flashing light again. Let's see if anything happens. I don't think I need to plug this one in, but what the heck. Nope, looks like it's uh, a no-go. Ah, hear that? Beautiful. The V11 is working again. So it's been a few days. I've gone through a lot to get this working again. A big shout out to Liam at InMotion. He was a great help, super responsive. As long as we, we just had to deal with the time change between uh, Los Angeles and China. But uh, we were able to communicate in real time through uh, Telegram and um, he helped set me up with firmware and getting it running again. It turned out that when you update the firmware on the V11, the wheel has to be laying on its side, like the King Song. And it's been a long time since I updated the firmware on the, on the King Song wheel. And I don't have the manual for this, so I, I don't know if it actually says to do that. It, it doesn't say that in the app when you're updating it. So when I updated the new firmware originally, it was like this, and I never laid it on its side. So apparently it, it kind of took the firmware, but it didn't, which is kind of odd. But um, when me and Liam were working through this, uh, at some point we realized, oh, the wheel needs to be on its side. We did the firmware again, and boom, it worked. We calibrated the wheel after the firmware and everything is working beautifully. And I'm running the latest firmware on the pre-production wheel. So it turns out the control board is compatible with it. Ah. <laughs> so that's a relief. I was just about to send this back to eWheels. But last night we we got it working, and uh, I'm really happy because I'm really looking forward to uh, trying this. So I'm gonna pack this up, and uh, the next shot you see, I will be riding along the beach in Southern California, and I'll start giving you some uh, my raw impressions and how this thing rides. See you guys in a second.
Wow. This is going to be a fun wheel. <laughs> it's definitely a unique experience. Uh, everyone's going to clearly, as people have been saying, you really have to adjust the shocks to fit you. I started out at about 120, and the shocks work, but it's it's pretty stiff, so you, you really feel a lot still. And uh, I tried it at 50, and that's too loose. So I was getting pedal scrapes. So I'm running about 80 right now, and that seems to be optimal. It's a nice cushy ride. You know, you feel the bumps, but it, it takes all the jarring action out of the bumps. Uh, so it, it's nice. And this is a very peppy wheel. It, it's like I'm, I'm going, uh, I'm just 20 is you know, zero effort to go up to 20. And I remember the V10. This is not the V10. <laughs> this feels nice, lots of power. Beautiful day at the beach today. So I'm going to take it up into the hills and Palos Verdes behind me and uh, try some trail running and kind of light trails. I'm going to be taken up into some tough, tough uh, mountain trails upcoming. This is just uh, my first ride, really. All right, let's, uh, let's continue.
got knobby tires? Oh boy guys, Woo. sign me up for suspension wheels on every single wheel in the future. This is it man. You know when the 3 inch wire tires came out and, uh, and all of a sudden like all the wheels had 3 inch tires, which I believe is I mean, absolutely the new standard, just it's 3 inch tires. Suspension is, uh, I'm afraid to say for all, all the UC companies out there, suspension is the new standard. Oh man, this is a blast. I mean, you can, you can feel the bumps. This is the, probably the worst trails I'm gonna ride today. You can, you can feel all the bumps and stuff, but it just mellows them out so much. You just don't care if you're running, riding over rocks and uh, I'm loving this wheel and tons of power. Too steep lack of momentum. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love this wheel. So comfortable. I'm sure a lot of you guys have ridden on bike paths where there's a tree root underneath so it's pushed up the I forget what you call those but you know they're really a hard heavy sharp crease in the tr in the road and you, you hit those with a with your wheel typically and you know you can you can really bounce pretty high if you're not a, prepared for it this thing just rolls over and I mean yeah you, you feel a little something but it's just not not jarring at all. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I like this wheel. So much power too. And uh, like I said before, I'm, I'm not a guy who, uh, you know, <laughs> like on the Sherman, okay, I was going in the low 30s, but yeah, you that's know, just not me most mostly. So this wheel, the fact that it can only go, you know, low 30s 
That's A-OK -okay for me. Kids are being like shit. Ah, uh, well guys, I think this is the perfect place to end this uh, video. I'm loving this wheel. Uh, wow, it's really convinced me of, uh, <laughs> of suspension. Just a little, I've ridden it uh, 20 miles so far today. Nice mix of, uh, of paved roads and trails. I just love how it softens everything. Suspension, 2020. This is it. All right, guys, until the next video. See you guys later.